Hi guys, welcome back to First Chapter Friday. Today we are going to be reading George Washington Socks. It's a time travel adventure. So there, I think there is a series. I've seen another one called George Washington Spy, but I believe this is the first. So we'll be reading that. It's by Elvira Woodruff. So they're supposed to go back in time and um, meet up with George Washington. And you should know this is the famous crossing of the Delaware, but in the real one, there's not really kids in the picture. All right, so chapter one, here we go. Oh, and it's really cool. They have a map in the beginning as well. So it kind of helps you visualize where all these things are happening. All right, chapter one. Matthew Carlton, you're not leaving this table until you finish those peas, Mrs. Carlton said firmly. But mom, I've got to finish packing, Matt pleaded. It's our first official club camp out tonight. And since I'm president of the club, I've got to make sure that we have everything we need. What's this about a club and a camp out? Mr. Carlton asked, putting a fork full of noodles in his mouth. Matt and some of the boys in the neighborhood had started a club and they want to sleep out tonight, Mrs. Carlton told him. It's not just a goofy club, Dad, like stamp collecting or something. It's an adventure club. Tony, Hooter, Q, and I are all members. We meet and talk about real adventures that people have had throughout history. Q gave the club this old set of books that his uncle had given him called Great Adventures in History. At every meeting, we're going to read about one adventure. The first one that we picked out is The Crossing of the Delaware by George Washington and his army during the Revolutionary War. Q and I did our history report on Washington, so we know a lot of stuff already that we can tell others, the other members. We're going to camp out tonight in Tony's yard. It was my idea to start the club in the first place, so I'm the president. I've got a lot of things to check on, so can I please be excused? Matt began to stand up. Hold on, champ, his father chuckled. Your club sounds fine, but you've got peas on your plate that your mother wants you to finish. Just think of them as an adventure in eating. Go on now, finish them up. Matt groaned. I'd rather face a bloodthirsty vampire or a wildcat or a... Soon he was lost in thought while imagining all the things he'd rather face than the pile of disgusting green things on his plate. The phone suddenly rang in the kitchen, bringing him back to the reality of the dinner table. He watched as Mr. Carlton got up to answer it. Then Matt stole a glance at his little sister, Katie, who was sitting across from him playing with the noodles on her plate. With one hand, she poked her fork in and out of the noodles, and with her other hand, she twisted one of her bright red curls around her finger. Katie Carlton, how many times do I have to tell you to stop twisting your hair? Mrs. Carlton sighed as she got up and went to the refrigerator. Timing, Matt was thinking, it's all a matter of timing. Quickly, he reached over and took the lid off the sugar bowl, then dropped in all the peas from his dish. He placed the lid back on a second, before his mother returned to the table. Then he glanced back at Katie, whose mouth had dropped open as she stared at the sugar bowl. That would be so disgusting. You get a spoonful of sugar and really it's peas. Oh, great, Matt moaned to himself, giving her a hard, cold stare. But Katie began to giggle. Mr. Carlton got off the phone and returned to the table. He picked up his glass of iced tea. Honey, did you want more sugar for that? Mrs. Carlton asked, passing the sugar bowl to her husband. Mr. Carlton took the sugar bowl and placed it beside his plate. Um, no, I think I'm fine, he said. Katie was unable to suppress herself, and before too long, she was doubled over in her seat giggling. And just what is this all about, Catherine? Mrs. Carlton asked, looking over at Katie. Nothing, Mom, Matt reassured her. You know how silly she gets when she starts to play with her food. She was just making the noodles wiggle on her plate like worms. Weren't you, Katie? Matt pinched her arm from under the table. Ow, Katie said, lifting her arm and pointing to the sugar bowl. How would you like to come camping with our club tonight, Katie? Matt blurted out. He was desperate. He couldn't risk his parents handing out any punishments tonight. He could just imagine having to explain to the guys that their president couldn't make the first adventure of their club because his parents were punishing him for filling the sugar bowl with peas. Katie quickly put her arm down and beamed with delight. Oh boy, I'm going camping with Matt. That's good of you to include your sister, Mr. Carlton smiled at Matt. Yes, it's very nice of you, Mrs. Carlton smiled. In fact, everyone was smiling, ex everyone except Matt. Great, he thought to himself, my first adventure with the club and I have to drag along a girl, a seven-year-old baby girl. He glared at Katie, who grinned back, giving one of her curls a twist. So that is chapter one. Again, the book was called George Washington Socks. It looks really fun. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Bye for now.